Now, most people enjoy Christmas, but our celebrations will differ depending on what we believe about Jesus, who is the person at the center of the celebrations. Some people acknowledge that Jesus was a charismatic, gifted teacher and religious debater who claimed to heal sickness and work miracles. But others still have problems. They can't be sure who he is and particularly where he came from. Now some of Jesus' fellow Jews had known him all his life. They said he was the son of Mary and Joseph, a local carpenter in Nazareth. They'd watched him grow up and they knew all about his relatives. And these Nazareth locals acknowledged that he was a very smart person, but many were skeptical about his talk about God being his father. But those who wrote about him in the Bible are much more certain. They say that while Mary is his mother, Joseph is not his biological father. In fact, they say that while he was born in Bethlehem and lived in Nazareth, he came from God, who is his father, to show us a new way of being human. Now this way he sees all of life as God's gift, viewing life through God's eyes, and requires us to live and organize ourselves accordingly. Well, I hope that those who don't believe in God or Jesus enjoy the holiday season. I hope that those who believe that Jesus is a good human being, who said and did some remarkable things, will celebrate his birth in company of the loved ones and work for peace, justice and harmony. But I pray that those of us who believe that Jesus has come from God to show us who God is, will respond to his love, and like the wise men, fall down and worship the King of Kings who brings us salvation before we radiate God's love in our celebrations and in the way we live our lives. So who is this child in Mary's arms? Your answer will determine not only your celebration and how you celebrate, but also your future life. So a happy, blessed and peaceful Christmas to you all.